Good morning you guys, it's Karen and I'm here to review this, the Ren Clean Screen Mineral SPF 30. Um, one of you, my lovely viewers, told me about this, otherwise I may never have seen it. Um, and it's not one that I'm going to recommend to you, but I just wanted to specifically say, if ever you guys tell me about a product or recommend a product, and I come on here and say that I don't enjoy it or you know, I'm not going to repurchase it. Please never ever feel bad. I have had that happen before and I don't want you guys to feel bad because I enjoy pri trying products and whether or not I like it or not, I never regret buying it, if that makes sense. And actually I've learned a good lesson from this. So this was £30 and I bought it from the Wren website because it wasn't available anywhere else at the time. It was just brand new out. And I have used it quite a few times, but it's one of those tubes that doesn't, you know, it won't look any different when it's empty. And this packaging is quite unique actually. The cap is 100% recycled plastic and the tube is 50% recycled plastic, which is quite good. I've never heard of that before. Um, and I get a lot of recommendations for sunscreen, but I'm so picky with my sunscreen. I, my ideal sunscreen would be cruelty-free, mineral, uh, so, 100% mineral, no chemical sunscreens in there, alcohol and fragrance free, um, moisturising but not greasy, no white cast, what else? Affordable, <laughs> so maybe not as expensive as £30 but I would be prepared to pay that if I found the perfect one, um, SPF 30 or above, you know, I've quite a few things, non-nano, that's the other thing. If it, if it didn't use nanoparticles, that would be great. And so this one doesn't use nanotechnology. Um, I looked at the top five ingredients. When I went to look on the website, I had a look at the top five ingredients and that's sort of been my MO, if you like. I always have a look at the top five, between five and 10 ingredients. And that's the lesson I've learned that I need to check all of the ingredients really um, because that's what's let me down on this, the ingredients. Um, there is no alcohol in this, which is good. There is no silicone in this, which I think will be interesting to some people. Um, but there is fragrance in this, and I, I can't believe that because when you read the description of this, it tells you that they are aiming this at people with sensitive skin um, because it's clean. But it's not just that there is irritating fragrances such as mandarin peel oil, they've actually added fragrance in, so they've put perfume in it. Um, and I, I just don't understand why some, they would call it clean skincare and say that it's aimed at sensitive skin and put fragrance, it's about halfway down the ingredients, in something that is to be used in the sun. You know, I think that that combination is, is as far away from something that sensitive skin could use as possible, you know, or should use. This is cruelty free and vegan. Um, it's described as a mattifying face sunscreen so I that still appealed to me even though I'm looking for a moisturizing sunscreen because I don't want something that's greasy you know I still want it to be a good base for makeup um, I think that might be everything to tell you in the description broad sunscreen oh it's non-nano it doesn't use nanoparticles in the formula um, there's no white cast from this I don't think it says that in description but I didn't find any white cast which is a concern when they don't use nanoparticles um, but I'll pop the video in of me applying this this morning and you can tell me what you think but I didn't find there to be any white cast at all um, so yeah that's everything that they tell you about the product and that they um, describe the product as I found it to be really pleasant to use actually the formula is lovely it feels very very lightweight so it doesn't feel like that typical kind of rich um, greasy type of sunscreen at all it feels lightweight it feels like it spreads easily um, so with it being mattifying you know it doesn't like instantly dry and you can't sort of spread it around your face you know I put it on my face and then I put some on my neck and it feels absolutely fine it feels like a great base for makeup with this being mattifying I wasn't sure if it would be enough on its own to moisturize my skin. I don't like to have to put something underneath a sunscreen. I like to be able to just use a sunscreen or a daily SPF as a moisturizer also. Um, so I've tried it out on its own and it's not enough for me. It did, after about an hour, my skin felt very, very tight. So for me to use this as my sunscreen, I also need to use something underneath it, such as hyaluronic acid or something to give my, me some extra hydration so that my skin didn't feel tight. But it certainly um, did make a really nice base for makeup, as I say. Um, 
I didn't like the scent at all. It's a very herbal scent. I don't know if you'll know what I mean by that, but it's a, it's a scent that I've never enjoyed over the years. And I used to like the Dr. Hauschka skincare, but I did not like the herbal scent. And to me, like oh, there's a lot of essential oils that smell very, very similar because they all smell herbal. And this smells very, very herbal. I'm not sure. I was looking through the ingredients and I, thought, I don't know whether that's the perfume that they've added or whether it's one of those, um, like this mandarin peel oil. It doesn't smell like that, but there's some other, um, there's some other oils in there that they've added in and I'm not sure which one it is that smells like it but it just smells herbal to me and that's not a scent I enjoy at all and it does smell quite strong it's not it's not crazy overpowering but it's strong enough um, and so I didn't enjoy that that's the only part of it I didn't enjoy but like I said the fragrance part of it bothers me whether I could smell it or not that bothered me um, my skin didn't react to it, you know, I didn't feel any irritation on my skin, but as you'll know, if you know about fragrance, it's not something that you will necessarily feel on your skin, but it will cause damage to your skin over the years that one day you could wake up and be um, sensitive to all, all kinds of things. So everything about this is great, except the fact that it's got fragrance in it. So I thought that it would be useful to compare it to the ordinary mineral sunscreen. Um, this isn't actually a tube of mineral sunscreen, but it's, it's very similar. Mine's run out and I don't have a, a tube to show you. But so the differences are, Ren has, is 30 pound, this one is eight pound. This has fragrance, this has no fragrance. Um, they're both cruelty free and vegan. This one has no silicone in it. The Ren one has no silicone. The ordinary does have silicone in it. So if silicone is something that you're trying to avoid, then the Ren one would be better for you. If you have sensitive skin though, I would say go for the ordinary. Um, and then the Ren one has a tube that's made of recycled packaging mostly. And the ordinary, I can't find any information on that. There was something that said they were going to try and replace all their plastic packaging by the end of 2018, which clearly they haven't done. Um, so I don't know whether they've made any changes to their plastic. I can't find information on that. So if you know anything, do let us know. Um, so really not much difference in these other than this has silicone and this doesn't, and this has fragrance and this doesn't. Um, so for me, the choice would always be the ordinary one because it's less than a third of the price to have the same thing really with less fragrance and actually there's one other um, big difference this one has titanium dioxide as well as zinc oxide this one is just zinc oxide um, but you know that's something I'm okay with and this one doesn't use um, this is non-nano this is non-nano as well so I'm okay with that I think that's everything to tell you about it um, let us know if you have tried it and what you think um, like I said it's a lovely feeling formula no issues with that at all it's just that fragrance thing that really bothers me if the fragrance wasn't there, I would be singing its praises and it would be exactly the same as this and maybe a little bit higher because of the fact of the recycled plastic and it would therefore be perfect for people that didn't want to use silicone. Um, yeah, I think that's everything to tell you. Let me tell you what I'm wearing makeup wise. Um, this is, the foundation is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, but it's mostly mixed with the e.l.f. I can't remember what they're called, but the, the new darkening drops. And honestly, it's about 50-50. It's about 50% Too Faced foundation and 50% darkening drops. And I still don't think it's quite dark enough. Um, so I'm not sure what I think. I, I was trying to make it dark enough so that I could try and see myself on screen with a Too Faced foundation on because I can't really make a decision because I don't have the right color for me. So I think I'm gonna have to wait until I'm in Glasgow and maybe see if I can go into the Debenhams there and maybe they'll have a bigger colour range. Um, but anyway, it's the Too Faced foundation. Um, on my eyes is, it's a Bare Minerals, pig, Bare Minerals pigment called Blush that I adore. I've used it for years. Um, what did I put on my cheeks this morning? Oh, it's the Glossier Cloud Paint in Puff. Then on my lips is a NYX, I can't remember what you call them, but it's the Liquid Lipsticks in Milan and that's everything. Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you again.